Hello and welcome to a new video. In this video we'll be simulating the circuit. This circuit is a circuit control of a stepper motor. We'll be working with this motor and we'll be controlling its speed and direction. Whether it's rotating clockwise or counterclockwise. So let's start by uh, giving brief explanations of each component. So the first one is the stepper motor. This motor uh, is an electromechanical component and it has two internal loads which will enable the motor to rotate, right? That's pretty much it. And uh, here we have a integrated circuit which will get data from these wires and will output a, a higher voltage um, to the motor that's pretty much what it will be doing in this circuit and then we have the control part so in this control part we have the we have a digital potentiometer that we control will be controlling the velocity in which the motor is rotating and a a switch uh, circuit or a push button that will be controlling the direction in which the motor is rotating and of course we have our microcontroller which will make the interactions possible between the components right it has a pre-coded code and yeah so let's start by explaining or giving a brief explanation of what uh, these components do in the in the circuit right or how they work so first of all we have the potentiometer we know that this potentiometer will give an output voltage in this pin and will be being read read sorry by the analog pin a0 of the microcontroller so this pin will be reading the, uh, the output voltage okay and if the potentiometer is at zero percent or at low percentage of the potentiometer the motor will rotate slower why is that because the microcontroller will create a high delay a delay of a uh, thousand milliseconds so because of that delay the iterations between the the data being sent will be higher and then the motor will rotate slower um, if the potentiometer is at high value uh, for instance 90 or 100 uh, percent we will create a pretty much low delay a low delay or a delay of 30 milliseconds and will make the motor rotate faster so yeah that's how we pretty much control the velocity of the and the motor with the potentiometer and the other control uh, part will it is the the push button right so this push button uh, connection of this uh, switching circuit is being read by the digital pin number two this pin will be waiting for the button to be pushed or the circuit to be closed so when the push button is pushed the circuit closes and uh, it the pin will get that right so it's waiting for the button to be pushed and when push it will do an action that action is uh, changing the direction in which the motor is rotating uh, yeah that's pretty much it and then uh, having that control how do you control that the motor is rotating and uh, speed it will be controlled by the microcontroller this microcontroller will be sending data from four to seven pins these are digital pins as well so the pin number four and five will be sending the, the clockwise direction through the pins 
another form pipe to the integrated circuit. And this integrated circuit will give outputs of 50 volts, which will activate only one internal load of the motor and therefore rotating in one direction. So if I press the button, I'll change uh, the direction. Therefore, the four and five pin will not be sending data, and the six and seven will. Now, uh, taking data from the six and seven pins, we will we'll activate the other load, and the other will not be activated, and then changing the direction of the stepper motor. So that's pretty much how this works. Let's see it in the simulation for you to make it, uh, for you to actually see it. So yeah, at the beginning, the motor is rotating clockwise. That's how it's programmed. So yeah, it's not, uh, let's make it rotating faster. As you can see, it's faster. And uh, when it's a uh, lower or at zero percent, it's rotating slower. So let's put it at normal speed. And when the button is gets pushed, you see how the direction changes. Let's see. Push and it changed in direct its direction. Pretty much the same, right? So if I push it again, it will change again. So that's pretty much what this uh, circuit does and the way it works. I hope you understand it well. And if you found it helpful or understandable, please like the video and subscribe if you want for future videos. Thank you.